If the stars were to arrange sprint races in the sky, then S5-HVS1 would surely leave its rivals far behind, like the invincible champion Usain Bolt, nicknamed Lightning Bolt. The runner, who has been clocked at a maximum speed of 27.79 miles or 44.72 kilometers an hour, is listed in the Guinness Book of World Records. Only, unlike the track and field athlete, a hypervelocity star awaits not honor and glory, but loneliness and eternal wanderings in a foreign land. In fact, of course, in space, there are no sports competitions. But about the fate of the would-be fastest star in our galaxy, everything is serious. At least such conclusions are made by scientists according to the results of recent studies. A group of astronomers led by Sergei Kopasov of Carnegie Mellon University's McWilliams Center for Cosmology discovered S5-HVS1 by accident. With the help of the Anglo-Australian Telescope, or AAT, a 12.8-foot or 3.9-meter telescope, and the Gaia Space Observatory of the European European Space Agency, they conducted spectroscopic imaging of the stellar streams in the Southern Hemisphere. At the same time, scientists were attempting to find interesting space objects in the Milky Way when they suddenly noticed a star moving in the Grus constellation at a speed of about 3.72 million miles or 6 million kilometers per hour. That is, 10 times faster than normal. Now. S5-HVS1 is located just 1,000 light-years from Earth. This is very close considering the scale of our galaxy. Researchers were able to trace the path of S5-HVS1 back in time. It turned out that the star was flying from the center of the Milky Way, where Sagittarius A star hides a black hole. More than 30 years ago, Jack Hill suggested that black holes could eject a star from binary systems with an incredibly powerful force. The same scenario developed in the case of S5-HSV1, which was able to escape from the gravitational monster Sagittarius A star. This black hole is located in the center of our galaxy at a distance of 26,000 light years from Earth. Its mass exceeds our sun's by 4 million times. Like other black holes, Sagittarius A star attracts all known objects, including those that move at the speed of light. The light quanta can't escape this region. However, with the hypervelocity star, it probably works out a little differently. Under the influence of the gravitational force of a black hole, the binary system of stars decayed. The black hole swallowed one of the stars, but that star forced S5-HSV1 away from itself. Now, the star moves at a speed of almost 1,090 miles or 1,755 kilometers per second. Scientists suggest that this happened about 5 million years ago. At that time, our distant ancestors had just learned to walk upright. Since then, the star has been racing so fast through space that it's likely to leave our galaxy entirely at some point in the future. However, as it turns out, S5-HVS1 is not the only star to roam the universe alone. Astronomers managed to find other hypervelocity rogue stars. Finding them is no easy task either. Closer to the center of the Milky Way, a huge number of various luminaries are forced to move, as they say, shoulder to shoulder. To single out a few particular stars from billions is like looking for the proverbial needle in a haystack. But astronomers Keith Hawkins, who is an astronomy student at Ohio University, and Adam Krauss, an astronomer at the University of Hawaii, using the 5-meter telescope at the Palomar Observatory in California, were first able to view 130 stars that were not far from Sagittarius A star. Then, among them, they identified six sprinters with a mass very similar to that of our sun. They all travel at extreme speeds, 
of up to 2 million miles or 3.2 million kilometers per hour. According to the astronomers, the six stars most likely were also thrown out of the center of the Milky Way. Researchers are using these stars to lift the veil on their birth in the dark depths of the Milky Way. A large amount of interstellar dust is concentrated in the galactic center, and the light coming from its depths is diminished by 30 magnitudes. That's about 10 to the 12th power times. Therefore, the center is invisible not only to the naked eye, but even with the help of very powerful telescopes. The identification of such celestial bodies will also help scientists more accurately estimate the size of the supermassive black hole hiding in the center of our galaxy. However, hypervelocity stars are not always able to give researchers information about Sagittarius A star. Some of these travelers most likely didn't even come close to the galactic monster. So, astronomers traced the history of the trajectory of the huge distant star Lamost-HVS1, which is located at a distance of about 42,000 light years from Earth. They found that this giant started to accelerate from a location in one of the small spiral arms of the galaxy and not from the center of it. It turned out that it was impossible for Sagittarius A star to be blamed for forcing this star away. So what then accelerated the star to such inconceivable speed? At first, the scientists decided that this was the result of a collision of Lamost HVS1 with several massive stars. But the path of this sprinter supposedly originates in the spiral arm of the Milky Way known as the Norma Arm. So, according to astronomers, a black hole could also be hiding there. Not a giant one, but one of medium size. It's likely that a similar space object is guilty of expelling Lamost-HVS1 from its place of origin in the spiral arm of the Milky Way. Also, another 20 hypervelocity stars have been discovered that arrange super races across the galaxy. They belong to the orange and yellow dwarfs. That is, they're similar to our Sun. Presumably, they don't originate from the galactic nucleus, or AGN. Scientists have made a similar conclusion based on a study of the composition of these bodies. It turned out to be the same as that of other stars in the disk of the galaxy, and differed from the composition of those born in the center of the Milky Way. It turns out that they are dispersed not by the black hole Sagittarius A star, but by something else. What? exactly is still unknown. Furthermore, the conclusions about the extreme speed of all 20 stars need further investigation. Knows what discoveries scientists will make. Perhaps it'll turn out that these 20 stars came to us from some completely different location entirely. Researchers at the University of Cambridge, using a computer simulation, have hypothesized that hypervelocity stars often enter our galaxy from the Large Magellanic Cloud, or LMC. Their origin is explained by the decay of binary systems. The closer two companion stars are in binary stellar systems, the faster they rotate relative to each other. If at some moment one star explodes like a supernova, the remaining one flies away at the speed with which it rotated. Due to the fact that the mass of the LMC is only about 10% of the mass of our galaxy, the gravitational force there is much weaker. A hypervelocity star can easily overcome its attraction and escape. To confirm their theory, the scientists modeled the life cycle of stars in the LMC over the past couple of billion years and revealed the effects of the birth of hypervelocity stars. Next, their path to our galaxy was calculated. When the calculation results were compared with observations, then everything came together. The actual locations of the hypervelocity stars exactly matched the places shown by the simulation. About 
10,000 such fast stars, according to computer simulation, will eventually make it to our galaxy. But this is only a small fraction of those that were ejected from the LMC. The transition from one galaxy to another takes millions and even billions of years. During this time, most stars are likely to die, turning into black holes or neutron stars. And if the computer simulation is correct, not only many hypervelocity stars, but also neutron stars as well as black holes are rushing towards our galaxy from the Large Magellanic Cloud. Scientists hope in the next decade to conduct additional research on this and other theories of the appearance of the fastest stars in the Milky Way. And with this task, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is sure to help. It should become an official replacement for the Hubble Observatory, which has been in orbit for almost three decades. And who knows, maybe the new knowledge about the Star Marathon will tell us how to accelerate spacecraft to achieve flight around the galaxy in the future. Do you think that new knowledge of hypervelocity stars will bring us practical benefits? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, click on the bell so as not to miss the new star releases. And don't forget to invite your friends. Together, it's much more fun to discuss all these amazing new scientific achievements. Until next time.